There are so many ways to change your subject's eye and hair color in Photoshop, but I think this is the fastest and the easiest way. I think I can teach you in under five minutes, so let's go. The first thing you do is select your subject's hair or whatever you want to change the color of. And the selection doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be making a mask for you, so you'll be able to change what's selected anyway. But I'll try to be somewhat precise. Okay. Next, you'll select your hue and saturation layer. And you can see there's a mask that popped up here. And now you just drag your hue. Whatever color you want. I suggest picking one that looks pretty natural. So if I went really bright green, that might not look that great. I could try it. I kind of like this teal color and you can always blend it in even if it looks kind of clunky there. And then you can adjust your saturation as well. So sometimes it helps to just take that brightness out of it. Just a bit. You know, darken it just a tad too. But it depends on uh, your subject's hair color and everything. So just kind of play with those and see what works for you. Next, select your mask and then select your brush. And I, I want to take some of this away, so I'll use black. And I'll use a nice soft brush. And then I'm going to just blend this hair color in. And I don't think the shape part would be green. Lower my opacity a bit. Of course, we don't want any on her skin. And then any place that you need more color, you can select black. Let's get this pink out of the way. If I really wanted to be go easy on myself, I could have just made a brighter pink and then any of those colors showing would have just looked more natural. Let's see. You can lower the opacity a little bit, and then it looks more normal. More natural. <laughs> more normal. More natural. Sorry, Shalon. And then we'll pick black again, too. <laughs> you think that's funny, Justin? Justin's laughing at my snafu. I'll actually get more of this. And then I'll blend it a little better. Now the cool thing about this is maybe you get done and you decide, oh, I don't really like the green hair. You can double click right here and then you can just slide the hue again. So you can go to pink, purple, whatever, whatever works for you. Nice. That was easy. Super easy. You should subscribe down below. You can check out our Photoshop book if you want to learn more in-depth lessons. I have over eight hours of video, kind of like this one. Thanks so much for watching.